Hello and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Morgana here and today I'll be painting these bright and beautiful poppies using watercolour. I'm beginning with a loose outline for these flowers already on the paper and masked out using Pebeo brand masking fluid. I'm placing a clean wash of water across the entire piece of watercolour paper because I'm going to paint the whole background wet in wet. I'll be using three colours to set up this loose summery backdrop today. I'm using Twin Gold, which you see here now on screen, as well as Hooters Green and Perillion Green. I'll be painting this section using my two large mop brushes, size 14 and 20, and my large sword liner brush as well. When adding these rich colours into the wet wash, try and make sure the directionality of your brush strokes is consistent and makes the beautiful shape of loose leaves or grasses. I'm using my large sword liner brush here to get some lovely loose lines into the painting at this stage, but if you don't have one of these then a regular liner brush or a riddle brush would work here as well, or really you could use any brush that has a nice fine point.
I decided to add a little salt at this stage to create a scattering of small pale blooms across the foreground to add a little bit of extra interest and detail and also to help balance out those darker colours I've just put in. Once the wash is completely dry, brush away any remaining salt and continue to add detail. I'm choosing now to use this small size dagger brush to add some more simple grasses and loose leafy shapes, slowly working my way around the paper to build up a lush summer garden or summer meadow effect. When you're ready, make sure your painting is once again fully dry before carefully removing the masking fluid. Now it's time to paint the poppies. I've chosen to paint these ones as a classic red, but poppies do come in so many different colours, from pink to yellow to violet, even blue. So the best advice I can offer for this stage of the painting is to choose your absolute favourite colour and paint with that. For me, today I am missing my favourite vermilion paint, which has sadly run out, so I've combined some cadmium red hue with a touch of cadmium yellow hue which just warms up the paint a little and helps the colour to really pop out amongst the green and golden background.
to add the data detail to the poppy's inner petals, I used a small amount of sepia. I'm also using a little bit of lifting technique to add some highlights to the poppy stems. This is done just using some clean water, some clean kitchen towel and my size 12 flat brush. Don't forget to add some colour to any additional poppy buds or seed heads you are including in your composition. I'm using some very watered down Hutter's Green for this part.
and after a final spattering of extra colour, the painting is now finally complete. Thank you everybody for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video as I really enjoyed painting these poppies too. There is just something about poppies that I do love, particularly the classic red variety. They just speak to me of summer and of course the sound of the birdsong among the wildflower meadows. If you'd like to see some more demos from me uh, similar to this, you can find extra content on my Patreon page, which you can sign up for anytime using the link below this video. A huge thank you to everybody for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week wherever you are and whatever you're up to, and wishing you all, as always, very happy painting.